This mat incorporates the use of sentence prompts, along with models, to assist students in developing a clear understanding of the concept and the procedure for creating equivalent fractions. The goal is to create a fraction on the left, and then create an equivalent for that fraction on the right. Since the models and numbers are linked in the default settings, whatever fraction you show in the model shows below as a number. Whatever you type in as a number shows above in the model. Explain to students that although we can work with the model on the right to create a common denominator, that there is a procedure that we can use to find a common denominator without relying on those models. We simply multiply the first fraction by a multiple of 1. For example, 2 over 2 or 2 halves is another way to express 1. I type the 2 in the sentence. The denominator of the second fraction is 2 times the denominator of the first. Whatever I do to the denominator, I do to the numerator. So the numerator is 2 times. That way, I have a representation or a multiple of 1, 2 halves, which equals 8 sixteenths. I drag the first fraction over to the second to show that the value has not changed. I can also click on the Check Work button to get additional feedback. Clicking on the Reset button lets me do another problem. Once students have a clear understanding of the procedure with the supports of the model, you can hide the models completely or use them as feedback. Create a fraction on the left, fill in the word sentence at the bottom, and create an equivalent fraction on the right. You can see that this model is useful for helping students understand the purpose of the procedure used for finding equivalent fractions, and that equivalent fractions represent the same amount or are the same value.